What is good, everyone? It's your, welcome to K Nation. It's your boy Uncle K here, and look, we are here back again. Hearthstone, but instead of it's gonna be like a, a Hearthstone Mercy video like I used to do, it's gonna be something slightly different. We actually gonna play some actual Hearthstone this time, and that's due to the new expansion pack that mini set that came out called Dead Minds. So, of course, we can't start any of this content from anything else other than quest warrior so let's get into it and yes uh just try my luck with some quest warrior so now if you actually see right here this is my list it's temporary it's not the best it's my take of it and it's probably we're gonna see how it goes and as we're going further into it i might do a couple of tweaks here and there to optimize it to the best i want it to be but we're gonna get in here see how far it goes how fast it goes and see how i feel about this whole experience let's do it get up Versus Thrall. All right, so we get to start off with, with some good shaman. Now you're sailing on my seas. All right, Mr. Smite, we're going to put you in the back. We're going to put you in the back. We're going to bring out the freebooter. And we got a good start. You know it's going to be quest for you. I even got the portrait for it. The calm before the storm. You gave me a good start too. I don't think Shaman has any beasts in their day, do they? I don't think they do, so I'm probably, I'll probably just go ahead and toss this out there to eat that on the first beginning. That, and also, I forgot to put weapons into this deck. I, I'll fix that next round. The main purpose right now is just to get out the, to complete the quest as fast as possible. So, with each turn comes by, I'm shooting to complete the quest. After you hero attacks, deal two damage to a random enemy. That is cool. I might hold on to that. A diet because right now, I do not have any weapons in this deck. Oh, I do. Never mind. Let's do it. This deck is this quest is gonna be completed very fast. No We're gonna need more gunpowder. That was lame. I was suspecting it to uh, take out the enemy minion, but okay. I guess I take that. It's fine. I'm pretty much two pirates away from completing this quest. He's double tapping that. matter me I'm about to complete this quest right now now the only thing that can save him right now is if he has the seven calls more uh, weaponry but he can't even play that because he has messed himself over with the five seven the calm the storm. so he won't be able to stop this when it's coming in Discovery. Yeah, the only thing he can do now is just play uh, completely offense and hope that he don't get steamrolled next turn. Set sail! The Juggernaut is under my command! All right. 
right, so I gotta play very careful. Hope he doesn't have his. I'm gonna have to double armor next turn. That doesn't matter. I got what I need out of it. play play safe yep pirate warrior once again has seemed to be very strong and you equip weapon number two after it attacks. Okay, go. Job's done. Yeah, at this point, I don't need it. It's just a matter of time. You win this one. Yeah. Super strong. Garrosh versus Scab. Oh man, this Now you're sailing on my seas. I will believe I will keep this because I believe the rogue has a beast, so I will keep it just in case. I don't know if he added into his added into his new. Oh wow, okay, cool. Okay. Well, we're about to see how this game gonna play be played. Like a tempo. Efficient is sufficient. Nope. Sorry. Gotta play defensive in case he's that one one that kill that wins off of straight damage. If he's a bleak road. Cause he looks like a bleak road. He might already concede with the fact that he won't be able to do enough damage to finish me off. Stone by stone, storm wind shall fall. Oh yeah, he's definitely bleak rogue. And his hands full, and he can't do anything about it. Oh, well, he had to use. Okay. I starving. Not me. You're not gonna get. You ain't gonna get through me with all the armor I'm about to build up. Control Warrior is back in pirate form, my friends. Stone by stone, storm wind shall fall. Yeah. 
Yep, useless. Next. Well, there goes your gameplay with that. You got anything else? Yep, weapon rug, huh? Yeah, he has nothing left at this point. He's focusing on trying to knock my health, my armor down as much. Yep, he doesn't have anything left. He's weapon rogue. Sadly, I don't have any destruction for a weapon rogue um, on this deck. But what I do have is taunt. So you see who can melt who down first. Looks like I'm gonna win this fight. Oh yeah, this game is over before before I even started. say you can you're not gonna melt me down faster than what I'm doing to you you don't have whirlwind and just to capitalize on you gotta get through me Double armoring up. You're not going to capitalize on me, brother. You picked the wrong. Ooh. Not going to lie, that was that scary. That's a scary take. Too bad it didn't work. That's a that's a scary take. Still not fast enough though. Didn't realize that was a thing. That can possibly happen. He tried to bring out Leroy Jenkins from uh, the win from back in the day. So, you know, they're like, we're going to nerf Warlock. We're going to nerf Mage. And now, you know, Power Warrior is technically on top. But now we're going to give him even more buffs to make him even more ridiculously strong. Like, to the point that you can't play anything else. Or Token Druid. Token Druid is also on top on that, too. Keep that. Get rid of that. Because we might need the four. That's a great tempo gameplay. I don't really prefer to play the two, but I'm going to have to. Time waits for no one. AFK. AFK. What is it? Nope, it's tempo. And I'm not prepared for this. So this might be the class that might actually beat me. Reason why I say this is because they, I don't have anything for small removal early game. Mine's more mid tier to late game. Reflect in the moon well. 
So they about to capitalize on my and I ain't gonna be able to do anything about it. I can't even pull off like any kind of like massive damage right now. Mm, should I pop the bubble or should I go for the damage on the 2-4? Go for the damage for the 2-4. Because that thing is gonna be more hassle than good. Because that turn I'm gonna put a taunt out and then be able to kill it. Or not. Yep, double taunt to protect that thing. And then he buffs it to prevent it from dying so early. Not gonna lie, Token Druid is very fearsome compared to Quest Warrior, so he might actually got me on this. Oh yeah, this game is done. I take two parts. I have two parts. But what would be the hit on this? Should we be able to armor up at all? Shit. Yep. Token Druid. Way too strong. But yeah, I feel like it's gonna be more of a Token Druid and Quest Warrior game. There was no purpose with that whatsoever. Begin. Okay. Now you're sailing on my seas. All of them is a little bit on the pull side. I'm gonna push them back and try again. Yeah, it's better. Why well, have a feeling you got what well, I think you got? You don't. Job done. Just got to. Just got to play safe because that oh my y'all can be very dangerous. I cannot wait to read these. that quest.
I'm going to throw the book at you. See if he can snipe. Give me that snipe. One, bop. Here we go. Snipe, snipe. This is not what we stood for. Hmm. Can he pick it off? Mm, nope. Oh my god. It's fine. What you got for me? that buff up but we run with them you know I'm gonna hold off from playing that right now what's the chances the chance of him having that seven cost is very low. He won't have room for it. I'm taking a shot in the dark. If he does, if he does have it, then I'm taking the L for it. But the chance of him having that Mukla Morlock that eats stuff in his deck is very low so i'm not really sweating too much about it game is over with. Lebron got destroyed. I'm going to throw the book at you. We'll fight back these brutes.
There's really nothing he can do because now all my uh, pirates that come out from this juggernaut and now have charge so I can use them to attack right off the bat. And the chance of me collect getting it. If I get this Mr. Smite off of this juggernaut, it's it's done deal. The victory is yours. Alright, well, he didn't want to take a shot in the dark for that either. Game. Garrosh versus Jaina. The time for dreaming is over. Now you're sailing on my seas. And it's gonna be spell spell mage. So this is like the real test to see if this is gonna pop or not. Because if it's spell mage, which is most likely is, um, me rushing him with pirates will probably see how far his quest can go compared to mine. So we're about to see for real how this is gonna play out. What you got, buddy? Are you playing the quest? Because you're going to get what you want, minions to play, to throw your spells on. Yep. All right, boys. We got a quest on quest battle. Let's see how this goes. In the, box? Pirate stuff. the difference between quest pirate and quest mage. Quest pirate has heavily on um, pirates but because he's there swamping means on the field at a fast rate it might over swamp the, the mage while the mage runs hardly on spells and they have to rely on having the exact type of spell to complete their quest so with them getting swamped by minions they're forced to have to play certain cards early before the quest is complete which can possibly lead to them losing but if they get lucky enough to draw all the cards as their as we're pro, uh, progression uh, through this whole battle, then they might actually be able to win through it. But it's really a fight on fight on if you can move faster than as I'm throwing out. <laughs> Gotta get strong, man. He's going to have to think very hard right now because he needs three spells. A fire, an acrium, arcane, my bad. A fire, an arcane, and a um, fro uh, frost. He already used the fire. He needs the arcane, boom, and he needs the frost. And he has to, he has to put it out there at a fast rate. Otherwise, he ain't going to get anywhere. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. This is what I'm scared about, him being able to pop his quest just as fast as I can pop it because he's able to get everything he needs right off the bat. Hopefully with me throwing that into his um, deck, that should slow his deck down just enough. Because he still hasn't got the ability to down decrease the cost of his spells just yet, and he's going he's still getting rushed, so he won't be able to get out as fast as I am. He got the first pop before I did, but I'm probably going to get the final pop before he does. Get very lucky with the draws. Time runs out on me. That's the only scary part about the about this is that he's able to get that draw coming. Gotta get through me. Grab your 
thing I can do currently is just constantly uh, get my quest complete. I gotta get another two more pirates out and then throw my five costs on the field. He still has to get all three of his, well two of his now, and then he has to wait a turn to play his, uh, his quest. He doesn't have to worry about minions, but at the same time he has to worry about uh, minions been an issue because he will have. I got minions popping out. This dude's gonna. He's really gonna get it. Okay. He draw two spells. Runs out on me. I believe he's just gonna shoot the poppet. No, is he gonna? He is preventing my draw. Yeah, he went. He went ahead and popped it. Because he, he he knows he has to rush me. I need a low cost pirate to counter him, and I don't get it. This is where things gonna get a little rough because. He's gonna be able to throw his out early game, and then he's gonna wait a turn. I have proven myself. I demand answers. At least his mana hasn't been dropped on his card, so the chance of him being able to play a whole bunch of all this slaughter at one time. It's slowed down. Well, that's the first one. And then he freezes the field. to counter that. I can't play it so soon. The only thing I do now is just armor up. Now on the upside, like I said, he doesn't have that many spells now because he used all of it to counter it so soon. So the chance of him being able to play it is uh, lower. So I have a better chance of winning in the longer shot. So he popped it early, yes, but can he come through and win after popping it? It's a whole nother story. Cause like I said, he's using his cards to defend. He won't have time to focus on doing my face. He has to rely on his ignite to pretty much carry the game for him. charge finisher when I get Mr. Smite throw Mr. Smite out plus uh, blood cell to get a 8 damage uh, roll it should be able to finish the game you never throw your eggs out all your eggs out at first just in case this man gets something crazy Yep, he has to play defense. He has no choice. Now that he doesn't have any that big defense type cards, 
Fucking story. Just keep throwing out smaller stuff. Keep your your feel. Keep keep a hand of cards just in case. Now they're at lethal. Messed this up his whole deck right there. He won't be able to re to keep his deck flowing through because he just burnt the rest of his stuff. That's what's up. Time runs out on me. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. Game, set, match. That's what's up. Okay. So, it's official, guys. Uh, Quest Warrior. It's it's a, it's an S tier. No matter what. Like, I can probably change a couple stuff out here and it can be an S tier deck. Still, I can tweak it just a little bit. that probably handle some... Um, some token druid but i promise you quest warrior right now is probably gonna be the best deck in the game currently for this meta wow this thing is scary <laughs> <laughs> 